The Philadelphia Experiment. What is the real story of this? Learning about the Philadelphia Experiment sounds to me like one of those conspiracy theories that annoy most people, but then down low makes them scratch their heads and wonder what exactly is happening. Les Hewitt reports, the Philadelphia Experiment is an event during 1943 in which the United States Navy purportedly teleported a Navy destroyer escort, the USS Eldridge DE-173, from Philadelphia to Norfolk. They also made it invisible, as in to the naked eye. Most people believe the incident was either a hoax or the ravings of a lunatic, However, some still believe that it may have been really occurring and that uh, there is a large conspiracy to cover it up. What's interesting is that the tale of the Philadelphia Experiment has made it to the annals of American legend. The story of the Philadelphia Experiment begins in October of 1943 in Norfolk, Virginia, though the story did not turn up until more than 10, 10 years later. Purportedly, some men aboard the SS Andrew Furseth saw a ship spontaneously appear in the water in Norfolk on October 28. The story goes that it came from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The destroyer had first disappeared and then it instantaneously teleported to Norfolk. The disappearance and the teleportation were apparently two different functions of the experiment. In other words, the disappearance was not the result of the teleportation but rather came before it. And once the USS Elridge reached Norfolk, it was clear something went wrong. Some of the men had disappeared during the trip, others had gone mad, some kept becoming invisible and then regained their forms, others still had become fused, yes, fused with the ship in various ways. Perhaps that's why no US ships currently have invisibility cloaks and teleportation devices. It could also be that the story is completely false. Carlos Allende's claims. The story of the Philadelphia experiment comes from a man called Carl Allen or Carlos Allende, his pseudonym. Carlos wrote a detailed description of the event, along with claims he was a witness aboard the SS Andrew Furseth when the USS Eldridge arrived in Norfolk, Virginia. He sent his description to the US Navy's Office of Naval Research. The public got hold of the story and it took off despite the many unliked events described in the letter. Carlos Allende wrote that the Philadelphia experiment was made possible by Einstein's unified field theory. Einstein supposedly told Carlos all about it himself. This is not direct proof that the story is a mere myth, but it does lend a bit to the crazy factor of the claims. Firstly, it, co it is common for such myths to borrow from the genius and fame of great scientists. Oftentimes it's easy to refute these myths because the works of great men are typically followed closely. There is no evidence that Einstein ever met Carlos Allende and there is no evidence that his work resulted in disastrous teleportation. Evidence to the contrary. The USS Eldridge, like most other Navy ships, especially in war times, has a thorough log of where it's been in October of 1943 and the months around it. These logs are currently public information. According to them, the ship was nowhere near Philadelphia in October of 1943. The, the SS Andrew Furseth was also not at Norfolk at any time the Eldridge was present. Furthermore, William S. Dodge, the man in command of the boat at the time of the Philadelphia experiment, later said that neither he nor any of his crew saw anything strange in Norfolk, Virginia. After receiving the odd information, the Office of Naval Research conducted an investigation. They did not find any evidence that the USS Navy was conducting experiments in teleportation. Of course, rendering ships invisible or stealthy is always an interest, but that pertains to radar, not to the human eye. As far as the US Navy is concerned, no such technology exists. Future events. Fast forward to 1984, the movie The Philadelphia Experiment emerged. In the movie, two men stationed on a ship travel forward in time after an experiment to make the ship invisible to radar goes terribly array. 
and Im the image of a sailor's body partially melted in the deck of a ship burned into the public psyche and it would contribute to the persistence of the urban legend. In 1994, Jacques Vallée wrote an article about the Philadelphia Experiment. He had written about it before and at the time he requested that anyone who might have more information contact him. And someone did. Edward Dudgeon had served as an electrician in the Navy between 1942 and 1945 on the USS Engstrom. He said the Engstrom was in Philadelphia during the summer of 1943. The nature of his job allowed him access to the classified nature of the equipment aboard his ship and the USS Eldridge. David Roos of How Stuff Works discussed Dudgeon's explanation in his article, How the Philadelphia Experiment Worked. Far from being teleportation engines designed by Einstein or aliens, the devices enabled the ships to scramble their magnetic signature using a technique called degaussing. The ships were wrapped in large cables and zapped with high voltage charges. The degaussed ship would be invisible to radar, but would be detectable by U-boats magnetic Torpedoes, Dave Ross said. Story of one mad mind. So there is no proof of Einstein's connection to the naval project aimed at the invisibility of solid objects and teleportation. There is no evidence that Carlos Allende met Einstein or that Einstein developed such technology. However, evidence contrary to the USS Eldridge alleged presence in Philadelphia, Norfolk, on October 28, 1943, does exist, and there are counterclaims to Allende that others witnessed the event. No proof exists apart from the writings of Carlos Allende that supports the legend of the Philadelphia Experiment. And this is on Collective Spark by Les Hewitt Historic Mysteries. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.